everybody today I am doing my what month is it January it's January in case you're wondering I'm doing my January favorites for you guys I took so many baths this month I am so fresh and so clean I've been using so many like lush products I'm not really like a lush connoisseur that's <laughs> a connoisseur is a big word <laughs> Sounds like a dinosaur. I'm not a big dinosaur. I'm sorry. I'm so weird. I've had so much caffeine today. I have a lot of bath bombs and bubble bars. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. And I've just been putting them in my bathtub and soaking in it for a really long time. And shout out to all my tall girls who take baths where your legs have to like literally like stick like, straight up. Like I'm a right angle when I'm in the tub. I'm like, who? Speaking of things that we use in the shower, this smells like Aunt Jemima. And by Aunt Jemima, I do in fact mean pancakes and maple syrup. Oh my gosh. This is a scrub from Soap and Glory. So it's like a bathing and scrub rubbing your body with the remnants of a Denny's breakfast or IHOP. I'm not picky. So this month I'm so incredibly happy to say that I got my skin under control. Pretty sure the last time my skin was this clear was when I was, um, you know, like a fetus. This is why I can't make beauty videos because I just, I don't, I didn't even blend my foundation. I'm wearing foundation, obviously. Um, I'm only wearing it like around my chin, around my jaw, and like around my nose. Like, look at the skin. I'm sure there are tons of people out there who have way better skin than that, but I'm really ecstatic about it, especially if you knew what my skin was like before. So this is the Facial Radiance Serum from First Aid Beauty. This is amazing. I use it morning and night, and it really gets rid of any hyperpigmentation, red spots, dark spots, or anything like that in my skin, and I love it, and I put it underneath my day moisturizer, the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is super nice and lightweight to wear underneath makeup, and then I also use the serum underneath my night cream, which is the Origins High Potent Pot Potency. I don't speak any language for that matter. The Origins High Potency Night Amends, and this is a night cream. It's super hydrating, and the next morning my skin feels like like a baby's butt. Not that I grow up a lot of baby's butts. And finally, my last skincare item, I guess it's skincare because it's under my eyes, and that's skin, uh, is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy Un under eye thing. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's uh, colored and tinted and it gets rid of dark circles like the appearance but it also reduces like puffiness and long term it helps and Selena Gomez uses it so that's why I use it. I love her. Because I have sensitive skin and because I wear a lot of eye makeup I really need a really good makeup remover that's going to take everything off without breaking my skin out and I've been using the First Aid Beauty Milk Oil Conditioning Cleanser to take my makeup off. It's amazing. Put it on my hands, rub it on my face, all my makeup breaks down, it's dripping down my face, I look like Lauren Conrad with her single black tear from the hills. Yeah. Dude, why did I just not blend my foundation? I hate my hair. We're gonna talk about some makeup. I have two face products. These would have been alternating between wearing on my skin. The first one is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It's what I'm wearing right now. It is such a beautiful foundation and it gives you like a powder like finish. So if you guys have oily skin, I highly recommend this because I don't even have to set this with a powder. It still looks like skin without looking overly cakey. It's super natural, but it's high coverage and lasts forever and it's ridiculously expensive Sell your kidney and buy foundation get your priorities straight obviously and this next product is my lightweight kind of everyday makeup that I wear when I'm not filming. And this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I actually was in the advertisements for this product. If you guys want to check out the video, it's on Sephora, it's on bareminerals.com. It's amazing and I've recommended it to all of my friends. You need this. It is like the best thing ever. I've been getting spray tans this month, but I'm actually trying out a couple of at-home tanning products to show you guys because I know it's not very helpful if I'm like, Megan, like, how'd you get tan? You're like, oh, I paid a lady to like spray my naked body for 45 minutes while we talked about how I probably should get a wax too. Her exact words were like, oh, sweetie, are you sure you don't want a wax? And I'm over here like, girl, please. Ain't nobody to impress right now. So with that, I've needed to bronze up my face to kind of match my body because I don't get spray tans on my face. And I've been using the darkest bronzer that I own and it is the Jouer Mattifying Bronzer Powder in Sun Swept. And it's this beautiful bronze color. I've been wearing it on my skin every day. It's super glowy and really natural looking and it really blends in everything. Don't look now though, because I didn't try that hard today. <laughs> Two videos ago, everyone was asking me if I got lip injections, which made me feel so good. Because that's how you know you're doing it right and you're lining your lips like a pro and people think you paid money to get, do they stick fat in your lips? I don't even know what it is, but I didn't get lip injections. I have just found my holy grail lip combo. 
That was annoying. I hate myself too. I've been using the MAC Dervish lip pencil and I've actually had this for like three years now which is probably really gross and like probably has like, you know, STDs on it. I'm kidding. I really am. I've never had an STD. I love this. I've been lining my lips with this and over drawing my lips. Make them bigger. Come on, why not? And then for a nude lipstick over, I've used this lipstick from Butter London and it's called Nutter. <laughs> and it reminds me of the word nipple or utter. Nutter. I have a fashion favorite and it's kind of sexual. I got two bralettes. I'm wearing oh, one in white too. And these are from the brand called Rehab. And I love, love, love these. So when you're wearing like a low v-neck, these little straps hang out. And they have one at Victoria's Secret, but this one was way cheaper. It was like $35. And I really like it. And I got it in black and I got it in white. And it's really comfortable and supportive. I'm wearing it now. Proof it's supportive. I'm weird. Recently, this past month, green beans have been like my favorite thing to eat. I dip them in mustard, as I do with everything. This was like my breakfast. I like sat down with some green beans, me, and some tea because what doesn't say good morning like a bag full of green beans. Okay guys, we need to talk about something. I might have had a legitimate and real heart attack when I saw these at the store. Juicy fruit starburst gum. And I know gum's not good for you. And I know there's lots of chemicals to make it taste this great. I would honestly kick off a couple years of my life just so I could enjoy this gum. They have the red and the pink flavors, which are the best Starbursts, because everybody knows that. And they lose their f flavor incredibly quickly. But I don't care, and I love them. What else can we talk about? Oh, favorite TV show. Naturally, it was Friends, because we all know I'm addicted to Netflix, and Friends just came on Netflix. I have a soft spot for Friends in my heart, because when my grandma passed away in elementary school, School. My mom let me stay up late every single night and watch Friends with her and my dad So I have seen like the whole series of Friends starting at like age nine And I remember I cried at the finale when I was like in fifth grade. I love it. I'm obsessed I am such a Phoebe. You have no idea. I just want to find a Chandler though or Paul Rudd I could do either. Who's your favorite character in Friends? Let me know down below. Music. Should we talk about music? Megan Trainer's album <sighs> It's so good. And I forgive her for now being the most searched Megan with an H in her name. I'll get over it because she's very talented and I make videos on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I made two Spotify playlists this month. Round of applause, you can speak English. <laughs> I can burp in English too. One of them is called All the Feels and the other one is called Writing. So I've been doing a lot of writing recently which you guys saw in my Spark Poem video. And those are the songs that I write to and then All the Feels are songs that just make me feel good. So I'll have both those Spotify playlists linked down below and you guys can follow me if you want to. So the book I've been reading this month is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I love kind of lighthearted, funny books like that and I've been listening to it stuck in the traffic, in car, stuck in the car, in traffic. I figured it out eventually. And I've just been like roaring with laughter. I'm sure people in the cars next to me think I'm absolutely insane. So definitely check it out. If you guys don't know, Audible is an audiobook website. I talk about it every month. It's one of my favorite things ever. You can have books read to you. It's literally like reading for lazy people. Like don't wanna read, don't have to do it. Have somebody else do it for you and you just lay there. And I love laying. If you use the code audible.com slash Megan, you get a 30 day free trial and a book of your choice. So whether that be Yes Please by Amy Poehler or like, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey because we are preparing for the movie my body is not ready. <sighs> call me sexual, call me dirty. I don't care. I'm gonna see that movie. I'm excited. Again, it's audible.com slash Megan. I will have the link in the down bar. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my January favorites video. I like you guys a lot. You're awesome and fun and you've been great to me in my last couple videos. And I am just so incredibly excited about the things to come. And if you wanna check out my most recent videos, you definitely should. I'm gonna have them linked down below. Okay guys, I love you oodles and oodles. I hope January was fantastic and 2015 is off to an amazing start. And if it's not, tomorrow is a new day. And I love you guys so much. <gasps> Goodbye. It's not about being happy all of the time. It's about recognizing those moments in which you really feel alive.